Hey, welcome my YouTube friends. And today, I'm so excited. I'm finally getting this uh, all done for you guys. Um, this is a tutorial for the Happy Trails um, Folio that I promised that I would teach you guys how to make. Um, I had several requests and um, so, yep, I'm making it happen for you guys. Yay. <laughs> um, I will link um, down below where you can go um, see the final review of this where I do a complete walkthrough of this um, folio. Um, this folio does measure um, about five and a quarter by six and a half and it does have an um, three quarter inch it's almost the same as an inch all right but like i said i will link down below where you can go watch the final um walkthrough of this album and see if you would like to make this it is really a very simple um folio to make um it's really cute guys really cute so i hope you guys will make this um let me know in the comments um what you think of the folio did you make the folio <laughs> all right so i'm going to give you the measurements right here and um, all the pieces I have wrote down how many pieces you need and the measurements and where to score at. Okay. All right. So um, piece A, what you're going to do, you're going to flip it over on the bumpy side and I'm going to attach, I'm using 3 8 um, score pal tape. You can use glue, um, whatever you prefer to use. I'm going to skip the first there's four score lines. Okay. I'm skipping the first half inch and I'm going to place my tape in the second half inch. Okay. All right. Because we're going to stick these two half inches together to form a hinge. All right. So I stuck my tape there. Now I'm going to fold right after my score pile tape. Okay. I'm going to line it up. I'm probably going to have to make it a little, kind of a, a little bit of a new score line. It didn't kind of fold quite right, but that's all right. So now I'm going to take my tape off and I'm going to stick it down. And then I'm going to fold back. Okay. And what that does is it forms a hinge. Okay, so now I'm going to score. And see, now we have a hinge inside our album. So now you can fold on your other score lines. And when you fold, make sure that it all lines up. Okay. And this is just a, a quick, easy folio to make. I'm thinking I'll probably hold around 50 photos, you know, just depending on the size of your photos. So now we have a hinge inside our album. Okay, so now I'm going to place my tape, quarter inch score pile tape, on both sides of my hinge. And I'm going to stay closer to the folded edge. That way, if my page doesn't quite fit, my tape is not going to show, okay? There. All right. So there's our hinge. Now I'm going to, I'm just going to taper just to them score lines. Don't go past because if your page, um, you don't want your that showing when you hook your page. So just to the score line, okay? All right. So we will make a page that will hook to that, okay? And you may kind of have to kind of burnish it to kind of loosen it up a little bit, all right? So that's our cover. <laughs> okay. All right, 
So now piece B, you're going to need two of those, two pieces, and five and seven eighths by six and a half, and you're going to score on the five seven eighths side at half an inch and seven eighths. That creates a three eighths gusset, and you're going to apply your tape to the bumpy side because this piece is going to attach to the outside it's going to attach to the outside of your covers okay so you're applying your tape to the inside which is the bumpy side okay all right you're applying your tape to the bumpy side all right now i am going to taper these because anytime we're going um and just to your score line okay do this to both pieces yeah anytime that you're going where your cardstock is the same as your alb you know same size i always taper just a little bit and then that kind of hides a little bit of our construction all right so now piece b you want to be you're not attaching your three quarter inch gusset you're just attaching that half inch okay so your three eighths gusset should be up and i'm just going to line it up best that i can I'm just going to flip her over and attach it. Okay. And I know it will be longer, but see, once we get our album made, you've got to guess it here. So you're, it doesn't come to this here or your, your fold line of your, um, let's see. When it's closed, yeah, it goes past your um, spine. But when it's opened, you've got about a quarter of an inch. So let's do the same thing to the other side. I'm going to fold on my score lines. Okay. And burnish. Oh, that don't look very... I'm going to fold on that just a little bit more. My score line just wasn't didn't look very straight to me <laughs> all right so again i'm going to attach it to the outside cover i'm just going to line it up and then when i get it lined up i'll just flip it over looks like it might be just a little bit long okay oops it moved it moved on me Yeah, it looks like one of just a hair longer, but you can always cut that off. So don't worry about something like that. You can always cut that off. All right, take my tape off. So there we go. There's the start of it. Okay, PC. You're applying the tape to the indented side. PC, you need two of them, five and a quarter by six and a half. You're scoring on the five and a quarter inch side at half an inch. And you're placing your tape on the indented side. Okay, the indented side. This really is, a, this folio goes together very fast and very cute. I can't decide what I'm going to decorate this one with. Okay, again, I'm going to taper. Because it's the same size as our album. So, I'm just tapering to my score line. Okay, on both pieces. Okay. There we go. Now these are going to, you're going to open up your B pieces, OK? 
Okay, if you're opening up your B pieces, here's our piece B. Here is our piece C. Okay. What you're going to do is right on top of B. And you're going to line it up right along the edge. Okay, you're going to line it up. Take your tape off. And you're going to do this to both pieces. The other piece goes on the other side. Here's piece A, our hinge. Here's piece B. So right on top, on the inside of piece B. Okay. When you line it up, and I just hold my hand there, take my tape off. The easiest way I have found to do score pal tape. I hate taking my tape off and then trying to put my piece down. I'll get it crooked every time. This is the easiest way I have found to do this. Okay. Piece C. What you're going to do now, you need four pieces of D at five and five and a half. Score on the five inch side at half an inch. Okay. You need four of these. Okay. We're applying our tape on the indented side. Because when we score, we have an indented side and a bumpy side. So the indented side, please. And I think I rounded these corners, I think. So let me look here real quick. I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, I rounded my corners. Okay. So I'm going to round my corners real quick. A rounded corner will take a beating a lot more than a squared corner. Plus, it just adds a little bit of different um, dimension to your album sometimes. Okay. All right. Fold towards the bumpy side and burnish all four pieces, please. All four pieces. Um, don't forget, guys, right now for the whole month of September, probably about three weeks into September. It may be the whole month. It will probably be the whole month of September. Um, I do have all my tutorials on my website, 50% off, guys. I want to help with your Christmas craftiness. So don't forget about that. Go check it out. Piece D. You are attaching. I'm going to go ahead and. Now, let's go ahead and attach this one. Okay, you have your three-quarter inch gusset right here. Here's piece A. Okay, here's our um, hinge. We have a three-quarter inch gusset right here. You are going to attach this about eighth of an inch away. You're going to line it up from top to bottom. And when you get it, you're going to take your tape off. Just up to that score line. Don't go past that score line because this is our gusset area. You don't want to go into that gusset area. So be careful. So now I'm going to close PC and D. And the other D goes on top of PC. And you're lining it up with your other piece D that you just placed. Okay. So now I'm going to open this up. And stick this down. Okay, just like that. So you open, open, open. This is PC, D, D. Okay, let's do the same thing to the other side. I'm going to attach this. I'm going to open up my PC. Attach us right along the score line. Just a hair away from it. You're going to center it from top to bottom. Because you don't want this in the guess area. Okay. That's a big no-no. That's a guess it. Okay. So now I'm going to close my piece C. I'm going to line it up with my other piece D that I placed. Okay. And I'm going to remove, because otherwise you stick that down. <laughs> so you have to open that back up to stick it down. Okay. There we go. All right. Piece E, you need 
four of these. Piece E, you need four of those. Okay. And we're going to place our tape. Uh, let me, we're going to place our tape. That's E. And then we got F, F. I'm not for sure where the other E piece goes. I may have to get in my other one because that's piece E, F, and F for the second one. Let me. Oh, this one doesn't have my other piece of E on it because it's supposed to have another piece of E right there. Let me see if this side does. Yep. All right. Huh, that's weird. wonder why I didn't have it on that one. That's kind of weird. So, you're going to place your tape on the indented side on all four pieces. And it is five and a quarter by six and a half. And you're scoring on the five and a quarter inch side at half an inch on all four of these pieces. Okay, all four pieces, please. On the indented side. That's kind of weird why I didn't have it on. Of course, that's nothing unusual for me. Nothing unusual for me. It's just like when I've done the final review. I had two places. I hadn't even decorated here. I thought I was done. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> thought I was done. Done the vid. Was work, working on the video. And I'm like, oh crap, you're not done, Vanessa. Okay, now you're just going to taper. Because they're the same, it's the same size. Taper all four pieces. Then you're going to fold and burnish. We're halfway through already, guys. See, it doesn't take long. And it's just a cute little folio, you know, that be nice to, you know, decorate it. And then at Christmas time, stick it on top of your present, um, you know, to your mom, to your parents, to grandma. Pictures, you know, of the summer, <clears throat> summer what you guys done. Maybe a trip that you want to share. You know, heck, send it to your kids and ha have them put their photos in it and send it back to you. <laughs> you know, especially if they live far away, make it and send it and say, hey, put your photos in there and send it back to me. Or tell them to send you some pictures. All right, piece E. You're going to need two pieces. Okay. And we're working on piece E. A right here. Here's our page hinge. So this piece here is going to go right beside. You have a gusset. You have half an inch gusset on each side of this page hinge. Do not attach us inside the gusset. Just right beside that score line. Right beside that score line. Boy, I thought white would be easier to work with, but I'm having problems seeing right where that's at yeah, I thought white would be easier for you guys to see but I don't know okay the other E goes right on the other side be mindful of your gusset area just right beside you don't want to go in your gusset area at all okay do that to both pieces so you're going to have E and an E Okay, let's do the same thing to the other side. Just up to your score line, maybe just a hair past it. Okay, just a hair past that score line. You don't want it when you know when your album folds, you don't want that piece getting in the way. All right, the other E is going right on the other side. This is piece A. Just right along 
the score line. Okay. And I hope you don't get lost where I'm at here. Because <laughs> this is, this folio is just full of flips. Full of flips. I'm going to put piece E, piece E. This is piece A. Just so it help you help you guys because it is it is full of flips and flaps okay piece f you're gonna need four of these all right so you're gonna fold these towards the bumpy all four pieces now a couple of these we're gonna put the tape we gotta put the tape on the opposite side i just gotta figure out which one I think it's two and two. Okay. Because piece F is going to go, it's going to hook to the back side. And then the other piece F, I think, hooks just right on top of the F. So let me double check. Okay. Let me double check. Pretty sure that's how it goes. That's piece F right here. Piece E, piece E, F and F. Piece F. Yeah, I think I hooked it. Yeah, I hooked it on the. I hooked it on the back sides on all of them. All right. So tape on the bumpy side on all four pieces. Tape on the bumpy side that's opposite of what it normally is because we're attaching it to the back side. All right. So tape on the bumpy side. I hope you guys will make this cute little folio. It'd be make really nice Christmas gifts. I mean, even a um, you know, if you do some craft shows, they would even make really cute for craft shows it's quick it's easy and it does hold several pictures i've never really figured up how many pictures but i'm going to guess probably close to 50. and i do have some more really small smaller folios i consider that this is kind of a bigger i mean yeah it's small in size but it does hold several of your photographs but I will be teaching you this whole month. Um, I've got a couple of other just smaller folios um, to teach you. Now I'm just tapering to my score line. Okay, tape tapering. So keep an eye out for that. I am going to teach you a couple of smaller folios. All right. Because I want to help you get your Christmas craftiness going. I want you in your craft room. <laughs> Who doesn't want to be in the craft room? <laughs> and who doesn't love just a small folio? Okay. Piece F. Here's our piece E. Okay. Now I need to see which one. Um, okay, it says attach two of these pieces together, so maybe we should do that first. Maybe that might be easier. <laughs> Let's see, we attach this one to piece F, and then we're going to attach it. Then attach to the right hand piece on the left side. And then attach to the right hand. Okay. I just want to make sure I get this right. Let's see this one. Yeah, it's attached to this one here. But I got mine. Just a second. Okay, here's my piece E. I attached piece F right on top. 
and then like that. Haha, there we go. Okay, two pieces of F. Okay, just like that. Okay, just like that. Flipping them over, and I'm hooking this one. Line it up. Take my tape off. Okay. Now, the tape's on this side. And I'm going to hook it right here. Okay. Because right here is going to be a pocket. Okay. Here's our hinge. So I'm going to hook this right on top. So I'm going to line it up. And I'm just going to flip it over and then take my tape off. Yes, um. Okay, let's do the other piece. Piece F. Okay, you got your two two tapes. Flip it. This one's going to hook to this one. Okay. And then we'll probably, we'll have to turn it. Okay. So I'm going to hook it. So now here's my tape. This opens up like this. Here's this. I'm going to hook it because it should open like this because you're going to have a pocket right here on both these. You're going to have a pocket, pocket. So I hope I don't lose you. So I'm going to line it up. When I got it, I'm just going to flip it over, take my tape off. There we go. See, it should open like this. Okay. Now, piece G is a slanted pocket. Okay, I haven't scored these yet because they need to mirror each other. They've got to mirror each other. So, one of them is going to be scored at half an inch. Then, I'm just going to rotate it clockwise half an inch. I'm going to do the opposite to this one. Half an inch. Uh, I was hoping that four would be, I should have done it the other way. Clockwise, half an inch. Okay. So, scored, scored. I should have had it opposite because my four that's okay. I just didn't want my four to show when I go to decorate it. I tried to to mark everything um, to where it wouldn't show. So I, when I go to decorate it, it wouldn't show. But you're going to need two pieces of G. Now you're going to apply your tape to your um, half inch spaces. Okay. Do this to both pieces. And this is our slanted pocket. Okay. These would have been cute if I would have done these in black. This would have been cute if I would have done it in black and white. <clears throat> I'm just going to put one of them on because I think I'm going to make a new one for that one. Just so... I can decorate it and my um, black marker will not show. So there we go. We have those. Now you're going to need a pencil or a pen. Uh, I'm going to find one. Crap, I think all I have is a pen in here. Ah, oh well. I'll just make sure. I... So you're going to... Um, Okay, I'm going to go up three inches. So you need a miter. Miter your corner. And you're going right through that X. 
when we scored, it formed a X. What you're doing is cutting right through that X. Then you're just going to fold and burnish. And when you fold, those corners should just meet. Okay, they should not overlap at all. If they overlap, just re recut it. Okay. So like that. So now what I'm going to do on the open, not on the folded side, on the open cut edge, I'm going up three inches. I'm going to make a little tick mark. Okay. Now I'm inch and a half from the top make a little tick mark inch and a half now i'm just going to draw my little tick marks i'm going to connect the dots we're back in school guys we're back in school we're connecting dots <laughs> okay you're going to do the opposite you're going to go three inches from the cut edge not the folded edge and then an inch and a half from the folded edge at the top inch and a half so you're going inch and a half and three inches. You're going to connect your dots and draw a line. Okay, connect your dots and draw a line. Okay, now I'm going to try and cut on my other side so we don't see that pencil, that pin mark. I usually have a pencil in here. I used it and I didn't put it back. Nothing, no, nothing unusual for me. All right, there we go. Like I said, I'm only going to attach one because I'm, I'm going to make a new one. But you, they attach here. Now, there's two options here. You can put your paper down, then put this down and leave a little bit of border. I kind of like that, but I, I, don't have my, I don't have my paper. So you can put them clear down to the edge, both edges, and attach. Just don't go over on your edges. I do like that to where it's offset, where you, you'd have your paper peeking through. I'm gonna say I'm gonna save mine. I want to do that with mine. But anyway, you could attach it clear at the bottom, clear to the edge of F. Okay, just make sure you don't go over your edges. Or you can do like me. I'm gonna go like an eighth of an inch, a little bit more, not quite a quarter, but in between an eighth and a quarter. I like that where the paper will be peeking through. So here, do I have a piece of paper I can show you just real quick? Surely I got something. Who doesn't have paper laying around? Okay, here. We'll pretend this is our paper. And you put this down. That's not very pretty paper. I mean, it's pretty, but. And then you would attach your pocket where you have the paper peeking through. So that's how I'm going to do mine. So that's where piece G goes. Right on top of your piece F. Okay. All right. Now, piece I and H. H and I. Okay. H and I. You're going to apply your tape. H, we do nothing to it. The piece I, you're going to apply your tape to the indented side on both ends. Okay, both ends. And there's the measurements. Okay. So piece I is four and a half by six and a half. Do nothing to it. Piece I is four by seven and a half. Score on the seven and a half side at half an inch on each end fold and burnish we're making a pocket page okay piece i is going to attach to h you're going to line it up okay when you got it take your tape off And it does have a little bit of a, um, it has a half inch. It's a half inch bigger over here for easy access. All right. So this pocket page, 
is going on our hinge. Now I'm going to test it first, make sure it fits, and it's a little tight. So I'm just going to trim these just a little bit more. I might not get all the way down to my score line. Yeah, this one, I didn't get all the way down to my score line. So just a second. There we go. Hopefully, now it fits a little bit better. I always test. Always make it a habit to test. All right, now just line it up, and it fits perfectly, and it's good here and here. So I'm going to take my one tape off, and I'm going to open it up. Okay, I'm opening it up using my fingers inside. Now, line it up, and I'm just going to put it down. All right, she looks good. I'm going to stick her down. And then I'm going to roll it back and take the tape off the back side. We're almost done, guys. We're almost done. <laughs> We're almost done. There we go. Now, there's our piece G. See, there's our piece G's. Here's our pocket page. Now, the half inch showing should be on top. Okay. You want this half inch on top. You don't want it on the back. Well, I mean, you could do either or. Okay. You could do either or. Piece I, or piece J, I'm sorry. You need one of them. This is a belly band. Two by seven and a half score on the seven and a half inch side, half an inch on each end. This is a belly band. And it goes on the back side. Okay. It goes on the back side. Okay. There's... And then you're going to need two pieces of K. Okay. Two pieces of K. And we're applying our tape to the indented side. To the indented side. All right. On both pieces. And I rounded the corners on piece K. Piece K is two pieces, four and a half by five and a half. Score on the five and a half inch side at half an inch. Okay. You're going to fold and burnish. These are our last pieces. Now, if you guys would like to see me come on and decorate this, um, I will gladly do that. I just don't know what paper I'm going to use. Of course, I've got all kinds of paper. I just don't know which one I want to use. Okay, piece J is on the back side of piece H. Okay, you have your pocket here. Flip it over to the back side. Okay. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to have to flip mine just a little bit so I can see better. Okay. Piece H or piece I'm sorry. And you're attaching it at one about an inch about an inch away, okay? I'm just going to estimate mine about an inch away. You're pl placing this on the back side of this pocket page. Right on top of piece H. Okay. Now, piece K is going to go right along. You're going to line it up from top to bottom. Right along the edge. Maybe just a hair away from the edge. Okay. You don't want to go over because that's going to create resistance. Do not go over. Do not go over. Okay. Now I'm going to roll this to the front, and you should be able to see, I'm going to stick a piece of black. I want to see where this piece K we just attached, because uh, I want to line it up. You're lining it up, okay? So right on top, I'm going to line it up with my other one. 
Okay, you're lining it up. And that should line up just perfectly. And it did. Okay, that should line up just perfectly and be right in the right spot where it needs to be. All right. So that's piece K. And this is piece G. All right. That is our folio. How cute is that? Okay, I'll do a, we'll do a flip through. I think I should, yeah, I shut that right. All right, we'll do a flip through. So there is our cute little folio. All right. So there you have your three quarter inch gusset and you have your inch. So you open it up. Then you open it up again, and you have your two pieces of D and C. You have your pocket. And then this opens up for this and for that. This is piece E, piece E, and then two Fs hooked together. Then you have piece K. You have I. This is our pocket, pocket page. And then you have a belly band and piece K. So then this opens up and you have your two D's and your C, your piece C, your two D's. Oops, that piece E is supposed to be down then here. Because here's our pocket. What do I do in my other pocket? Huh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, here's our here's our pocket. So then this opens up like that and like that, and then that flips. Look at that. All right, that is it for this tutorial and then that folds your pocket page is in the middle okay and then that folds and then it shuts beautiful beautiful so let me know in the comments um what you think about this are you gonna make one i hope you hope you will make one i mean it's very quick i made mine and decorated mine all in an afternoon well I didn't have it all. I forgot a couple of spots. But yeah, basically, you could do this all in one day. And I just used a ribbon closure. Okay. And I will put the link down below to where I do a final walkthrough. Um, so yeah, I want to keep this video halfway short. So 42 minutes. Yeah, no, it's not so short. <laughs> all right. I, I hope you guys enjoyed this and uh let me know what you guys think about it hit that subscribe button so you never miss out because i am going to be teaching you a couple smaller folios um this month so keep an eye out for that and as always keep scrapping bye bye